Hello, my name is Jonah, I love golf, and today I'm going to be your virtual chipping instructor. The first thing I have to ask is, what is chipping? Well, basically, chipping is something you do when you're around the green, and you're going to try to get the ball as close to the hole as possible. You get in the air a little bit and let it roll the rest of the way to the hole. If you hit a great chip shot, you're going to be near the hole and hopefully have a makeable putt. If you hit a good shot, chipping can decrease your stroke by one or more. First thing I have to talk about is equipment. For the club, you're going to need an iron with a lot of loft, like a 9 iron, or you could also use a pitching wedge. You could even use a 7 or 8 iron if you want to. But right here, I'm going to be using a 9 iron today. And then one other thing I have to address is shoes. Right now, I, I'm wearing athletic shoes. Golf shoes would be even better. But you just don't want to be in like sandals or flip-flops or rubber boots or barefoot. You just want to have something substantial. So the first thing I have to show you all is uh, the golf grip. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your non-dominant hand on top. I write with my right hand, so I'm going to put my left hand there. If you write with your left, put your right hand there. Just like this. Make sure the middle of your hand from the knuckle on your index finger to the middle of your wrist is pointing straight up and that you're right in the middle of the grip. The second thing you're going to do is, well, you're going to turn this over. I'm going to open these two fingers and put the pinky finger of my right hand right in there your dominant hand and you're going to wrap around and have it also on top so that right there is the grip for chipping first thing I'm going to tell you all is how to get your stance right so you, of course you have your golf grip you want your feet a little bit less than shoulder width apart and you want your club you want the ball that you're going to use to be right here in your stance so have your club about right in the middle you're going to put most of your weight on this foot the front foot so then the next thing is to get your arms you're going to have your wrists and your elbows locked they're not going to move the whole time you're just going to move your shoulders in a pendulum like this if you want the ball to go farther, make your swing a little bit bigger. If you don't want the ball to go as far, you're going to make your swing a little bit smaller. Just keep practicing swings like this, making sure that the edge of the club is hitting the ground and it's going to get under the ball. You don't really want to be taking a divot in this circumstance. You just want the bottom of your club to scrape the ground. You really want to hear the grass. So just take a couple practice swings like this. Now I'm going to show you all a drill that you can use to help get your accuracy and your pace better. So first thing is, I found this raw around here. I'm going to place it right about here. So now I'm, not, I'm going to take two big steps away from the raw. One, two. I'm going to be putting from about here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit the ball and have it fly and have its first impact as close to the rock as you can. This rock is about the size of a golf hole. So it's like chipping to a golf hole. So you're just going to maybe take a few practice swings and hit a few shots. Just make sure you're getting under the ball and keep keeping your upper body locked. Swing the pendulum. That ball's a little long, but it's not bad. It's tough. It's really tough to be super accurate every time. That ball was also a little long, so that probably means I need to make my swing motion slightly shorter but not chop at it still. That was way short, so I'm gonna swing a little 
was a longer. That was dead accurate, so I'm gonna try to replicate the same thing again. Hit the rock, that's the best result you can get. So you're just gonna keep hitting shots like this until you get a really good feel for it. So this time, well, once you feel really comfortable with the first part of the drill, now I'm gonna show you the second part, which is the main thing you'll need to practice on. So this time, instead of taking two large steps away from the rock, you're gonna take about five, but a little bit less is completely acceptable. five steps would be right here but instead I'm gonna hit from about here but this time the drill is gonna be slightly different instead of hitting the ball and having it carry right to the rock and hit the rock there what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the ball have it land and you're gonna probably around here and have it roll and finally stop as close to the rock as you can. Because on a golf course, let's say if you hit the ball about here on your chip, then you have, you have a very makeable tap in. Like that on a golf course, for instance, Spot on. I actually hit a great shot there. I could tap that in. Hopefully for a part or a bogey or something like that. So you're just going to keep, keep hitting shots like this. That one I left a little short. Which means I, I have to make my swing a little bit larger. because I still have a somewhat makeable putt. That's not bad because you still have a putt that you can hopefully make on a golf course. Thank you for joining me for virtual chipping practice. Happy golfing and I hope to see you on the golf course. <laughs>